Hi, it's Cinec 2018 in Munich, um, day two, and we're talking to Sebastian, who's product manager at Sonata of Sony. Um, now, you've got a new system here, haven't you? It's a Venice system. Uh, yes. Okay. So, um, talk us through that in a minute. But yep. um, part of being at a show like this is, you know, you're seeing the end user yeah, straight right. away, isn't yeah. it? So, it's, it's a great way of getting feedback into yes. this, I guess. Correct. Yeah, yeah and so, so this is... So, First of all, th uh, thanks for the invitation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but, but this is the exactly the thing where we always, we always engage with the customers. Yeah. So, so when we develop the Venice, we throw it around the world to meet yeah. PPs and uh, camera assistants, uh, rental houses. And these kind of shows are also one part of it because we can directly engage with the customers, <coughs> get their feedback and um, to see how the product is working, what we can we need to do first in the future to make it even easier by a firmware update or to develop new accessories to, yeah. um, to make it more flexible. Yeah. So it's a, a core cool part of product development, really, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah. it's part of it because yeah. you can directly feed it back to Japan so to, yeah. to make the product even better. Yeah. Brilliant. So do you want to talk us through this then? So oh, yeah, I can do so. Um, you can be, I, just, I, 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 just, I just brought this one over because the rest is yeah. copy. You literally pulled it off the stand, didn't you? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. So. So, um, so we launched the Venice system one year ago, right, yeah. and um, so one, one part of the Venice system was that we can exchange the sensor. So we just said, okay, for the future proof, um, let's be able to take the sensor out, yeah. because let's see on customer feedback what yeah. kind of sensors they would need in the future. So high speed, larger format, larger, higher ice or whatever. Yeah. So um, we said, okay, to keep it future-proofed, let's make it really easy to take it out, put a new sensor in, yeah. whatever will happen in the future. So, yeah. And then, while uh, discussing with customers, they said, okay, would there be a possibility to make the Venice system, which is already pretty small, even smaller, so to be more flexible? Yeah. And then we had the, uh, the, um, the talks with James Cameron, because he's now shooting on Avatar, oh, with, uh, the, with yeah. Venice. Yeah. And of course, this will be 3D. Um, and he said, okay, for 3D, for the rigs, I need to wrap it really small. Yeah. So instead of taking the, uh, the raw recorder, the R7, and extend, can we not take the sensor out of the, because you can exchange it. Yeah. And yeah. we said, it's a pretty smart idea. Yeah. I and mean, then we, uh, we talked to the engineers and said, okay, let's, let's do it. Uh, let's see well, how far we can go, uh, if there are any um, issues to take it out. Yeah. And no issues at all. So, at Cinegear, we have shown the first prototype and uh, said, okay, give us your feedback. Yeah. Even if you're not yes. doing 3D, if you want to do it, stay calm, yeah. gimbal, put it in the car as we do at the Cine yes. Show. Yeah. Everyone said, please, make a product out of this. Because this is opening the possibility of Venice so heavily. Really? Please yeah. make a product. Yeah. So um, last week at IBC, we have shown the, the final design. Yeah. So that means that every single Venice, which was has been sold since day one, mm -hmm. yeah. We can take out the sensor, yeah. it's just four screws or six screws, put the sensor into this one, yeah. and put this plate into right. the Venice body. Yeah. And then you have so you just this, extend it over the correct, this yeah. size, plus the lens. You have the power out for uh, motors, yeah. you have an SDI for a monitor for framing, all this kind of stuff. And then you have a pretty small thing. So that becomes... This is the, your camera and this is just the body <laughs> yeah. at the end. Yeah, and that can be anywhere. Anywhere. Yeah. So it's in the maximum five meter fifty. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Five and a half meters. Sorry. Yeah. Um, but then, yeah, you can want it in the car as, as we have doing, yeah. uh, as we are doing in the on the yeah. Cynic show. We already made uh, some shots on a motorbike in front. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. So yeah. it's really open yeah. the possibilities for the yeah. Venice, and that's yeah. pretty amazing. It so. is, and it, it's fast. <laughs> what is so fascinating about that? It's something that is a byproduct of something you develop. Correct comes from customer feedback yeah. but then it opens a whole new world correct yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's uh, the thing is that even with the with the, we are showing it at the cynic uh, with the with the lights lens so the yeah. m08 oh, yeah. which are really yeah. small lenses yeah. so you can use your pl glass if you want um, it's, it's really yeah. opening all the possibilities and we had customers who have seen the um, the body so with this and then said okay but this is the body with a cable yeah. Where's the rest? And we said, oh, take a look into the car. And they said, what? Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, and then they already they got the ideas, ideas and, and they said, okay, yeah. I have a production in, next, in October, November. Yeah. Sebastian, I need this. Yeah. I said, well, it's coming in February. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. uh, okay, give you a prototype. I take this one. I said, ah. Yeah. <laughs> so we can really see yeah. that yeah. customers are so happy and so enthusiastic yeah. about this one to use Venice uh, even more. Yeah. More. And that's... The, that's a, what is exciting about a show like this yeah. is that you get that instant. Correct. Because they're, they're the users, aren't they? They're yes. not the people who buy them or the people who yeah, make, you know, yeah. hire up. They're not management. They're the people actually going to yeah. use it. And they, correct. They yeah. know exactly what they need. So, yeah. No, yeah. it's... So, so it's shipping in... In February. February time. Yeah, yeah. So this is okay. at the moment the plan. Yeah. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's coming with the, with the next firmware version? Yeah. So because of this is also another part of uh, what we are listening carefully to our customers to yes. say, okay, this is firmware version uh, 2.0 at the moment. Uh, this is a roadmap for 3.0 and 4.0. And we're always listening to the customer and say, okay, what features are you missing? Yeah. Or for example, what can we improve even on the on the usability? So, yeah. so version three is bringing uh, new features um, like new anamorphic disk squeezes, because at the moment uh, we have a two types disk squeeze, but we know there are a lot of lenses around using. 1.5, 1.8, 1.3, yeah. uh, and so on. And of course, customers who are using these lenses, they also want to have this piece on the monitor. Yeah. So this is coming, there is a lot of stuff with parallel recording, so that you have your RAW or your XOCM, um, and then a, a smaller file size uh, yeah. ProRes or uh, XABC, which you can easier handle on editing. Yeah. Um, we got a lot of customers who said, okay, you have XOCM in the standard format, but um, can you do something with even higher quality? Because we need to do a lot of VFX stuff um, yes, or yeah. IMAX, really big, uh, large yeah. screens. Uh, so we said, okay, let's do it. And then comes XOCM XT for Extreme. Right. So it's the same um, data rate as our RAW, but higher picture quality. So these are all the things which you know, we are really listening carefully. And then. Yeah. Putting into the into the roadmap, yeah. uh, the same as higher frame rates, which yes. is coming in version four because right. okay. customers yeah. are asking, okay, hey, is it possible to to use Venice even for some yeah some higher frame rates? Yeah. So not only 25 or 24. So let's go in 4K uh, up to 90 and 6K right. with, yeah. with two times with 50 yeah. or 60. And this is also coming. So these kinds of shows are perfect yes. for these kinds yes. of discussions. Although I bet. You go back with a whole list of uh, yeah. things, <laughs> and you've got to sift through. Right, okay, then, what can we deliver? Is, of, course, of course, this is yeah. this is always the the challenge. Yeah, that's, yeah. We we have to do, and also the Japanese colleagues have to do. So because we are still at the beginning of the of the, of the Venice, yeah. just one year. Yeah, we are true. shipping since yeah. half a year, roughly, yeah. um, and we get a lot of customer feedback. And then not only Europe, also US, yeah. so Asia. And we always have to yeah, manage to see okay, where, where we can see is the highest demand. Um, you know, to, to say, okay, this is version three, this is version four, or even look already into version five, yeah. for example. Yeah. So, no, it's, uh, it's pretty good. And Fantastic. so far what we can see, um, when it's really taking off yeah. at the moment, uh, when you talk to rentals or even DPs or assistants, everyone is really loving the, the look and the um, visibility. Um, and it's, it's really getting more and more. So. Brilliant. That's good. Well, thanks for sparing the time to talk to us. No problem at all. Um, hopefully, we'll see you at the BSC Expo, and then we can for sure see how yeah, <laughs> we can do see Yeah, then this is there. released. That's it. Yeah, version yeah. three should be released as well. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Keep progress keeps marching on. Of course. Yeah. Thanks for talking. Anyway. No problem. Thank you so much. See you again. See you again.